the question from this month's Excel Yourself article is, is there a formula that will add up the highest five values in a range? Well, there's no built-in function in Excel that can do this, but we can use two functions together to arrive at a solution. The first function we'll look at is the large function. Now, the large function isn't commonly used. The reason is that what it does is not <laughs> that frequently needed. Um, what it does is allows you to extract a value from a range of values based on where that value sits um, within the sequence. So if you wanted the third largest value, and I've got that in a, a cell here, the large function will take the range, so A2 to A15, and the comma 3 part of it is where you define you know, where you want. So 3 means the third. So that means the third largest value within the range, which in this case is 96. Now, I said that that's not that useful in isolation, but for our purposes, it's ideal because what we can do is specify the top five numbers. Now, the sort of result we want, what I've done is I've, I've entered some formulas in column G, uh, and you'll be able to download this file from the, um, the I, in the black uh, website, the digital website. And what I've done is just replicated what we need to do. So in each of these cells, I've got this is the large for that range for F1, which is showing the number one. And then this one does F2, which is number two. So these are the five highest values within that range. So each of these has a large function in it and it just refers to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add all those up and it gives us 478. Now instead of using six different cells, we want to do that in one cell, which we have done with our sum product. Now the way we've done it is that we've used these curly brackets around the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what that does is that replicates having five separate large functions with those five sequential numbers in them. Um, and so by doing that, we've shortened the function by all of this stuff on the right hand side here into one formula. So, and the sum product um, will just add up those five separate large functions that this has created. So the curly brackets are typically associated with what are called array formulas in Excel. I'm not going to talk about array formulas um, very much at all. Uh, just to say that this is exactly the same as having as I mentioned, five separate large functions entered within the sum product brackets, and sum product just adds up the results of those. Now, the technique using the curly brackets is handy if you are only doing a few numbers, say the top three or the top five. If you do a lot, need to do a lot of numbers, then there's another technique using the row function. Now, the row function used in isolation simply returns the row number that you're on. So in this case, I've entered it in G9 and typed in equals row, open bracket, close bracket, and what it does, it just shows me the row number. Now, when you use row on a range, as I've got in here, so 1 to 5, then that puts exactly the same thing as I had in the curly bracket. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it extracts the row number from the range 1 to 5. And so that's what's in this cell here. That's the formula here. And that's giving me exactly the same result. It's adding up the top five values. Now, the beauty of using the row function is it's totally scalable. So instead of having row 1 to 5, I can put row 1 to 10, uh, as I have here. And that is now extracting the top 10 values from the range A2 to A15. So very handy. Uh, method to uh, basically insert sequential numbers into a sum product function. Now, sum product uh, incredibly powerful. It, it is my favourite function in Excel. It's probably the most flexible function, and um, I've done a num number of articles over the years on it. So um, I said highly recommend you learn about sum product. Uh, in this case, the the main takeouts are that the large function can extract um, you know, sequential data from a range based on the, where a number is in the sequence. 
and it can be used with the curly brackets. Not all formulas will accept these curly brackets uh, as input. Excel will tell you if uh, you can't because it will give you an error message when you enter the formula. The large is one of those functions that can do it. Um, and also when you use the large function within the sum product, it does allow you to shorten the formula. And as I said, sum product, extremely flexible. And um, I hope you've uh, learned a few things uh, from these techniques. Thanks a lot.